a little bit of wind here today, but uh, I went ahead and let's see if I can turn here. Found me a park. It's actually the land and everything like that is part of the park right here. You can see. Um, so it's pretty good size. They do have events that things happens here. Got like the restaurants right there. Of course, they'll swing a little tot lot here. I think we hit this, and then uh, I'm not sure how tough the ground is here, so I might hit some of these other areas. Let me get with you. When I find something, I'll show you. Hang with me now. First item in the pea gravel, 10, 11 inches down, that bolt. Keep on going. Item number two, a penny, right on top. Yeah, I'll try to go ahead and keep this less boring unless I find something good. Y'all stay with me. Alright guys, finally the keepers back with you. Give you an update. Did the uh, pea gravel top lot there. All around the circle, underneath the uh, equipment there. Out to the swings. Over around that little shelter there. Some of those uh, benches there. And then... Um, had somebody I was in here talking with this inner part right here around that circle there they've had car shows and uh, so I did it and I came up with mostly trash I think I got maybe a penny or something in there too and this over here didn't give me much either I think I had maybe about five pennies and two dimes some uh, pull tabs uh, oh that bolt uh, not much happening here at this park is it because it's new it's not used much or do we have another treasure hunter like me in the neighborhood here that uh, has already hunted it a couple times don't know the answer but I do know this I'm heading off to a new place so check back with me I'll see if I can give you a brief uh, intro to the newer place and I'll see you in a short bit Finders are keepers back with you at New Park. Got a lot of things happen at this place here. See some ball diamonds. Looks like these have been aged over time. Actually got horseshoes down there. And as you can tell the park I'm at is Caseville City Park. More ball diamonds there. Ball diamonds over here. A little tot lot there, so I try to tot lot on these diamonds here. If this place has been hunted, I'm gonna have any kind of luck. Hang with me here. Be using the uh, Mine Lab E track here, a pro pointer. See what I can find out. Okay, guys, here's one four inches down. Up here, so you can focus on that. That two items or is that an item and the imprint? Let's see. That is an imprint and that is the dime. All right. Yeah, it looked like it was a uh, spill there where I was in, but it was just the uh, imprinted it left. Good deal. Get back with you. Okay guys, I got headphones on here, but I'm getting 749 high squeal in here. 1746, 1446. This is about two four about six inches down. I've been getting uh, a lot of dimes through here. No quarters, no nickels. I don't even think I've got a penny unless it was a penny when I first got out of the vehicle up there. All right, so let me check out this to see if it's good, bad, or evil. Hold on. Looks like I got some kind of bolt. High signal, high tone, bolt. I keep looking. Hey guys, finders out keepers. This uh, park here, 
can use a lot more time. Just this small wire I did there. And again, it goes from there as I'm scrolling around, scrolling around. It's huge. I didn't do probably one eighth of it or so. And on that, where I'm at right now, you have a general idea how I was doing there. Got some trash here, and then of course that first place. But uh, it looks like I got two quarters and two nickels, and two, four, six, eight dimes. Pennies, maybe around 13 of them there. Most of them, I think, are stinking Lincolns. And over here, you can see it looks like two dimes and five nickels, or excuse me, five pennies. Some kind of tag here. This is a neat little thing. These cleaned up there. Design says something, but it's probably just uh, from a zipper or so. Who knows? Uh, here's a couple arrows, actually, from bone arrows. This was wild, is over there where the green guy is there, there was two of those arrows sticking in the ground that they've been shot in the air and they come down, they penetrated the ground there and they was extending above the ground about half of this. And this was what the, the wild thing is, is of course they're sharp and everything, is if, uh, I don't make a difference too, but if a kid's running through there and falls down and lands on that, that would go into their body a couple inches. I pulled two of those out. I trash can found those, but I left this part out here so you can see that. This, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, of course, I don't know if it's just a big hunk of lead, or that actually has some kind of design to it. So, might need to be cleaned up a little bit and see what that uh, guy was. Let me go ahead and wrap things up here and uh, finish off this day. Again, try to get this uh, video together. As you know, I'm not at home where I used to be and uh, uh, internet uh, access is slower, less, not as much. And I'm only using my laptop and I use the word it sucks compared to the other one I usually use. So try to get the oh damn, electricity. Uh, uh, we've been losing electricity here. Um, yeah, it's wild, but anyhow, uh, so, such is life. Okay, let me uh, try to put something together here, show you guys, and uh, happy hunting out there. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers for uh, uh, being here and watching.